Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I woke up in bed next to someone super special. He's tall, dark, and handsome. And I just figured it's time to introduce you guys. Everybody meet this cockroach I met at 2 a.m. doing a vlog <laughs> <laughs> okay I just got home from working out but this is my outfit I'm going to Dumbo to hang out with my friend Jean and I am just totally pretending that there is not a roach still on my floor and everything will be fine Yeah, I, th I think he's doing it wrong if he is. Well, you know what? That's actually like warrior fighting, I think. I got a Gino. I got a Gino. We're leaving this beautiful park that's so beautiful and so chill. Very hidden. <laughs> and lovely. <laughs> it's better anyway. This way. Can you say something for the camera? Anything that's burning on your heart right now that you would say if you were in an interview? Um, and remember, a thousand people are going to see this a day. <laughs> Okay, hello vlog. I just got out of the shower. I'm going to a picnic today with some friendies. I was thinking in the shower about how emotionally exhausted I've been. I just like not sleeping as much as I should, not like resting my brain as much as I should. And like even with this vlog, I'm so out of it right now. I feel like I haven't vlogged in like three weeks, which is not a long time, but I do feel like when I stop vlogging, I become really bad at it because it really is a skill that you have to like practice and like I want to be myself, but then also realize again I've been, I've been freaking emotionally exhausted, which is why I haven't talked very much on this vlog so far. Um, I've even been so emotionally exhausted that I haven't really felt inspired to do much for my YouTube channel, which is really a bummer because I usually feel pretty inspired and like pretty just like upbeat, like wanting to like be myself for the content, you know? But this week, I'm just like, bruh, I don't have it in me. And um, that's just the truth. That's the truth. And I don't know if it's like summer energy, but my life has just felt very chaotic recently. And it's probably my fault. When I fear life getting kind of like boring and like repetitive, I will often like out of fear add super chaotic, stimulating, emotionally draining things into my life when life is boring and then when I add the chaotic things in and my life starts to get like normal and healthy and upbeat again that's when I'm like oh my god I've added all this chaotic stuff that I don't even have the emotional energy for and now I have to deal with it and like get rid of it. <laughs> Chaos can be kind of fun sometimes and that's why I go to therapy is because I need to learn that chaos is not a thing that's like fun or like that I should desire <laughs> but I still desire it so that's just me being honest with you guys that I'm a healthy person, but if I get bored, I am just like, I don't want to be healthy anymore. I'm bored. I want to go have fun. And to me, for whatever reason, there's this lie I'm believing, this like limiting belief I have that like fun and healthy do not go hand in hand. And that's just not the truth. At least I know. Um, but I guess I'm just working on like actually adding that belief into my life. I even, I even just like look tired. Can you see it? Can you see it in my face? I'm exhausted. This life is not an easy one <laughs> by any means. Okay, I think I look more healthy and alive now than I started, right? You wouldn't think this girl's emotionally exhausted, but she is. She is, but she doesn't look it. Come 
on. Come on guys, as we walk down this extremely steep hill that reminds me exactly of the hike I was just on last week. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. Worse than any workout. Just waiting to trip. Oh, I did. But this is just for a picnic. You guys, you just witnessed me <laughs> forcing a guy to stop his bike as he was already working super hard to go uphill. He's like, what the frick? Stupid girl vlogging stops my uphill climb. Activity. Tennis. with her two days ago and yet here I am again <laughs> eating pizza but at least Kevin was here I guess <laughs> and also look at this man's crocs hey bro I like your crocs Sick. But what are the charms? That's yeah. sick. Oh, you got money? Yeah, a duck. Shoot. Gummies, I love gummies. Bubble bath? Yeah, uh, fully clover and a bear. What else should I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Saturday night and the roach is now gone. I already feel a million times better in my apartment because the roach is gone and I'm just so excited for tomorrow morning when I wake up that I don't have to turn to my bed side and say, good morning, Mr. Roach. Like that feeling is gone, it's no more. And I don't know why I was so comfortable living next to the guy. Like even my friend who helped me put him in the trash or in the toilet. My friend was so freaked out by it, like that's how big it was, and I'm going to miss that roach, but I'm not going to miss the way it made me feel, you know? The memories that we had, I won't, I won't miss them, and I'm glad he's gone. Good morning, it's Sunday, and I'm about to jump on a city bike to aid in the exhaustion that I already feel uh, regarding my whole life. But I'm going to picnic later after church and yeah, it should be a good day.
Okay, so I just got off of my bike and you guys are never going to believe this. I was biking, I was on a moving vehicle and got pooped on by a bird. She got I'm out of church and I have been redeemed from a bird pooping on my arm today. A bird pooped on my arm while I was biking down the street. Sorry. I was going like 10, 15 miles an hour and it pooped on me. What are the odds? It happens. No, it doesn't happen. And did I tell you in Miami a bird pecked me in the head? <laughs> like that, that's not a coincidence. Whitney and I haven't seen her in so long it's been forever oh my gosh yes, coming this is Mo in her prime a princess <laughs> all you guys do is stay on your phone <laughs> yeah, when you see them out of quarantine and this is what they do all day. <laughs> Hello vlog. It is Sunday p.m. and I just got home from the picnic with my friends and um, I'm so tired. The weekend has definitely caught up to me and... This is definitely a weird vlog for me because I didn't really talk a lot in it, which is fine, you know. I hope you guys still enjoyed it, but I'm just going to decompress. Hopefully my next video I can be a little bit more myself and come from a place of protecting my energy more than I really have been recently. And yeah, I will see you guys next video. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I hope that animals around the world will start leaving me alone. See you next time. Peace. You know what though? I'm probably also emotionally exhausted because there's been this cockroach on my floor for the past 24 hours. No, I actually think it's been more than 24 hours. And when I texted my super about it, I was like, Kelvin, his name is Kevin, with an, but like with an L. I was like, Kelvin, I had a run in with a cockroach last night. Like, can somebody come, come like fix this or should I sign the sheet of paper that's downstairs in the lobby in the hallway? And he just responds, okay. <laughs> And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, you're supposed to keep me safe. You're supposed to be the one who's supposed to come and exterminate. And what you say is, okay. I just, I feel so helpless.